Hi, welcome to the video lecture series of Fluid Mechanics Laboratory. Have you ever wondered why geese birds fly in V pattern when they fly to far places? Yes, it is because of the vortices. As the bird flaps, a rotating vortex of air rolls out from each of its wing tips. These vortices of air means that the air that is just behind the bird gets constantly a downward push which is called as the downwash. And on the sides, it gets an upward thrust which is called as the upwash. So if an another bird tries to move in the upwash zone, then it gets a free lift. So it saves energy by just mushing off the air which is created by its flock mates. Today, we will visualize these vortices and we will see how the vortex shredding happens. So vortex shredding is an oscillating flow that takes place when a fluid flows over the objects. So these are the different objects through which we will be seeing the vortex shredding that happens. Flows with steady boundary condition can have an unsteady solution. The flows over the bluff bodies is a common example, this type of unsteady solutions. For a flow around a cylinder, so if we will take this cylinder with a very low Reynolds number, the vortices which are generated gets diffuse, that is it is not advected. When Reynolds number is increased above 40, the wake becomes unstable. So with the increase in the Reynolds number, two counter rotating vortices in staggered rows are generated and these staggered rows are called as Carmen vortex street. When the Reynolds number greater than 80, the vortex street are, are formed very close to the body and they periodically break off making the flow unsteady in the wake region. So if this frequency that is the vortex shredding frequency matches with the natural frequency of the object, resonance occurs and with, this can result in a structural damage. So determining the non-dimensional frequency, which is the Strohal number, becomes important. The main objective of this experiment is to determine the non-dimensional frequency and its dependence on the Reynolds number. Next, now let us see the experimental setup. The experimental setup consists of a tank having a dimension of 2.5 meter by 1.5 meter and a depth of 150 millimeters. It consists of a two counter rotating aluminum disc which is connected to a motor and this motor is connected to a variac which from which we can control the speed of the motor which in turn controls the velocity in the stream. This contains two blocks or we can call it as a guideway which guides the water flow to the test section and this is the test section where we will keep these models to visualize the vortex shredding. Aluminium powder is sprinkled on water for better visualization of the vortices. Today we will be seeing the vortex shredding mainly for the cylinder and we can also visualize the vortex shredding over the aerofoil square section or a triangular section. The main objective now is to determine the non-dimensional frequency Strohal number and it is given by the frequency that is the vortex shredding frequency into the characteristic length which depends on the geometry of the object divided by the free stream velocity. So now here in this experiment we will be determining the free stream velocity and then we will count or we will determine what is the frequency. For determining the free stream velocity, we have got few particles here, small particles which we will drop in this stream and we will see what is the distance travelled and how much time it has taken to determine the free stream velocity. So now I am dropping the small particles in the stream. I will now switch on the stopwatch and observe how much time the particle has taken to travel 1 meter. From this I can determine the free stream velocity. After determining the velocity, that is the free stream velocity, now we will see the vortex shredding.
you can observe the vortices that are formed here and it is breaking off and moving down the line. So now we have to determine the frequency of this vortex that is being shred. We have to count the number of vortices that are forming in a definite interval of time. So the count divided by the time will give us the frequency of the vortex shredding. Now let us increase the velocity and observe the vortices. Now you can observe that the vortices are forming fast just behind the cylinder. This resembles the vortices formed in the pillars of the bridges. Now we have determined the free stream velocity and the vortex shredding frequency from which we can determine the non-dimensional frequency that is Rohal number. The diameter of this cylinder is 50 mm uh, which is the characteristic length for this.